This is one of the most interesting things that I've read all week. Trigger warning, it's about the language we use when we talk about sexual violence. We talk about how many women were raped last year, not about how many men raped women. We talk about how many girls in a school district were harassed last year, not about how many boys harassed girls. We talk about how many teenage girls got pregnant in the state of Vermont last year, rather than how many men and teenage boys got girls pregnant. So you can see how the use of this passive voice has a political effect. It shifts the focus off men and boys and onto girls and women. Even the term violence against women is problematic. It's a passive construction. There's no active agent in the sentence. It's a bad thing that happens to women. It's a bad thing that happens to women, but when you look at that term violence against women, nobody is doing it to them. It just happens. Men aren't even a part of it. Well, clearly you don't have to be a rocket scientist to be a feminist. And most important thing she's read last last week. Uh, <clears throat> if you were to uh, count the, the number of rapists instead of the number of rape victims, you'd find out pretty quickly that it's a tiny percentage of men who are committing these crimes. The same with the sexual harassment and as far as the pregnant teenage girls go um, who knows what's going on there and haven't they heard of uh, contraceptives you know, take responsibility for your actions in that case but as far as the uh, the rape and the sexual harassment goes it's a tiny percentage of men who are committing the crimes and so at, to, it, in today's world the feminists account the victims so that they can then blame the nearest man or blame all men when uh, if you were to count the actual perpetrators uh, you would you'd see that the problem uh, is concentrated amongst this tiny percentage of men and uh, it could be dealt with but the, the women the feminists aren't interested in dealing with the issue they're interested in highlighting the issue to uh, back up their uh, spurious claims about victimhood, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's why you're, you're not getting the, the numbers on the actual perpetrators for these crimes. It's so that it can be blown out of all proportion and all men can be blamed and de denigrated for the actions of a few. Right? It's pretty fucking obvious.